Hello friends, welcome back to Simply KDP. So in this video, I want to show you how to create children's activity books using Canva. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because I just discovered that kids' activity books are selling like crazy. So after watching this video, you should be able to create something like this. Currently, this book you are seeing on the screen, you can see they have a puzzle inside the book. They have this activity inside the book, like a math activity. You can see some of the activities they have. These are the numbers and after the numbers and the likes. So the actual book is this one, Challenges for Brilliant Minds. It has educational games, math games, logic games, concentration games, and the likes. And you can see that it's currently number one bestseller in the exotic game category. And it was just published a month ago. Already, it's selling like crazy. Now, before we get to the creation part of our children's activity book, let me just share with you how I actually discovered this book and how I actually found out that it is selling like crazy. So, I currently use a tool known as BookBot. Now, BookBot is actually a self-publishing tool created by self-publishers this is actually a tool that was specifically created for low content publishers so if you are actually serious about low content publishing i advise you to invest in this tool of course you can actually just try it out for three days it's up to you this is just a tool that i myself use and i currently use the pro vision so inside bookboard they have a tool known as the cloud search now using this tool you can actually find out the best sellers on amazon and you can actually filter either to the top 100 top 20 200 top 500 and the likes and you can also choose the category now what i did using the cloud search was set the category to activity book and inside the keywords area i just typed in search and find now the reason being is that i noticed a lot of people we are making sales with this category so i just wanted to find out what is selling on amazon kdp and when i am scrolling down what i normally do using the cloud search is just try to see which books are recent and are already getting sales so you can see right here like for this one this is an activity book and this one is for adults and currently it was published on july 5th 2024 and already has 47 reviews with a rating of 4.8 this is a very good sign that this has potential you can actually create a book for yourself in this uh, category and you can probably also make sales now when i was continuing scrolling down it's when i actually found the book that i actually showed you this one right here challenges for brilliant minds now when you click this icon inside bookbot this is an icon Icon that will show you the best sellers rank and also show you the price history now the blue line at the bottom right here is the sales rank while the other line this one right here is the price rank so if you see the this line going up it means the sellers are increasing their pricing and if you see this blue line going down it means the book is getting a lot of sales so seeing a curve that looks like this when you see the best sellers rank is heading over towards zero it means this book is massively in demand and getting a lot of sales currently and you can see right here that they started out the pricing at 8.99 when they increased the pricing because they noticed that it, the book was selling very well so they increased the pricing to try to make more profit and you can see they changed it to 9.99 but the sales continued coming in and they left it until somewhere maybe august 6 and you can see right here that they increased the pricing to 10.99 the sales are still coming in if you also check the estimated sales like they're getting around 300 sales a month so easily these people are making more than a thousand dollars a month if they're actually getting this of course this is never accurate and this is the actual book right here on amazon kdp and you can see it's already the best sellers so when we look inside this is a very brilliant cover and you might want to also consider creating something similar and when you scroll down you can see everything has already been shown everything has already been done you just need to replicate this don't copy exactly you might even you use different colors and the like here is the first page they have and we're going to start with this one and create something similar so what you're going to do is you're going to go to canva right here and the other thing also you want to check is the page number for the book and also the size they are using so right here you can see the dimensions they're using 8.5 by 11 and the page length is 90 pages now this information is very important when you're actually creating any book and what you're going to do is go to the kdp cover calculator then here on the binding type you're going to click on it and you're going to choose paperback then the interior type you're going to click on it and you're just going to choose standard color that's all right and the paper type right here you're going to choose white paper then the reading direction you're going to choose left to right then the measurements you're going to choose inches then the interior trim size right here we're going to go with 8.5 by 11 inches then the page count we're also going to choose 90 so click on calculate dimensions and what you want to do is that amazon kdb will give 
you a template you want to download this template because you're going to use this when creating your cover if you don't want to download it you can just simply take note of these measurements right here these are very very important measurements now the next thing we're going to go to canva right here and you're going to click on create a design when you click on that one you're going to choose custom size then here you're going to put 8.5 by 11 then make sure the units it's inches right here and click on create new design so we're ready to start designing so what i'm going to do is just take a look at what we're going to do so you can see the first thing we have this sentence right here and we have these words and the likes so we also have this border line so maybe i might want to also create this border line that is right here so what i'm going to do first and foremost i'm going to add some margin line right here so i'm going to click on elements right here and i'm going to add this shape which is the square shape and when it is added you want to click on the position right here and you want to change the width right here make sure this uh lock icon click on it so that it shows locked and want want the dimensions to be equal so right here you're going to type 0 0.375 when you have it you're going to set it up like that and duplicate it and set another one the bottom duplicate it set another one this side so once you've added those squares you're going to add another shape which is the square shape right here and what you're going to do this time around is just stretch it out to the ends of those shapes like that like that like that okay so once you have that one what you're going to do you want to remove the few options so here under the color option you want to click on no color then the border line style or the border style right here you want to choose this line right here then you want to reduce the border weight maybe to one or two okay let's maybe just set it to one all right i think that looks nice so we can delete now these shapes like that so the next thing we want to do is add some text right here when we look at our inspiration you can see they have this one which we are going to create odd one out then they have this each of these whatever whatever so we're going to do the same right here so we're going to click on text right here and simply choose add heading okay then we're going to reduce the size maybe something like that drag it to the top maybe right here like that maybe reduce the size again something like that maybe let's set it at 25 then we're going to add a subheading and type in something similar to this so i'm just going to do that quickly add subheading and i'm going to type it right here all right so you can see that i've added the text and the odd one out i've changed this to uppercase letters now the other thing which we want to do or the next thing when we look at this we have this uh shape which is like the matching ants we want to have this one and also we have this group one so what i'm going to do right here this odd one out i'm just going to duplicate this and bring it down right here and i'm going to type group one like that and next i want to add that shape like the one that they have here which looks like the matching ants so to add the shape that looks like the matching ants like this one what you're going to do is come to the shapes section right here and you can see we have this shape right here i'm just going to add it right here and you're going to stretch it out like that and simply place it somewhere here like that now to remove this color what you're going to do is click on it and here where it shows the color option when you click on that you want to choose no color then on the border option right here you can see you have this option which is the matching borderline so you just want to choose that one like that then you once want to change this uh borderlines size to maybe one like that we have our first shape like this one you can see the one we have then also you can see since the color they use a different color we're going to change this one also to a different color since they use a different color so we're going to change the border color right here we're going also to choose maybe let's go with this one and we're going to use it for the old one also we're going to choose our color we're going to choose the same color similarly to the group color like that okay we have that one as our face part so the other thing is that you can see they have these fruits and they have something different now if we want to can't use fruits we can use something very very different from whatever is here so let's just go right ahead and add some things right here in our shape so we're going to go to elements right here and you can maybe search for fruits and i'm going to click on graphics then maybe add this one which is the banana fruit add this one add that one okay then add this one and that so once you've added your fruits you're just going to now resize them to a small shape like that okay then you want to place them inside like that now you want to make sure that one of them is odd so now this fruit we can't add this fruit we need to add something that is different so we can maybe add an animal to add something that is unique so i'm going to add this one and just pl 
place it right here like that okay the other thing what we're going to do you can see when we look at our um, inspiration right here they had two things okay they had also another group and they had another shape so right here we're going to duplicate this drag it to the bottom and just change this from group one to group two similarly for the shape we're going to also duplicate that drag it to the bottom and for group two we're going to add different things so let me just go right ahead maybe add some animals all right so you can see that i've added some animals and i've added a car which is the old one out so kids love things like this so this is our first page the other thing we want to do maybe this border color you'd want to change it to grayish okay you want to change it to grayish not necessarily black so when you click on this we're going to maybe choose a slightly grayish color so i'm just going to click on the color wheel and maybe from black i'm just going to change it to a slightly gray like that okay so yeah so that it looks like that so this is our first page for our coloring book it's that simple you don't need to overcomplicate things and this is how you create children's activity book so if we go to the next one let me maybe give you another as an example so you can see this is just similar you can just duplicate this and create the group 3 and group 4 so let's just go right ahead duplicate this and just change this to group 3 and 4 again we're going to duplicate this page but this time around we're going to change the contents of this now you can see right here that the other thing they had a different puzzle so maybe we can create one of these puzzles maybe let's add this page also as an example so come back home nathan so i'm just going to quickly tap in this all right so you can see i've quickly added come back home jones i'm trying to replicate this so you can see we just need to have a, a boy right here so we can have jones and the like so let's just go right ahead and add a human right here so let's just search for a boy so you can pick any that you like from the list so let's just go maybe with this one and i'm just going to resize this shape and add it right here then maybe i'm going to flip it so that it looks the other way like that then reduce the size a bit maybe to something like that then we're going to search for a maze you can see this is one this one is a maze we're going to search for a maze right here so we have that one let's just add it right here maybe reduce the size of our boy maybe something like that then the puzzle we can change the color right here we can change it maybe to green like that okay then right here we want to add a bicycle or we can add anything maybe a skateboard and like so let's just go right ahead and add a bicycle all right maybe something like that then you maybe want to add some decorations right here you can see they had some these kind of decorations like this one maybe some plants and the like so you can also add it right here just to show that the boy was playing but however i'm sure you get the idea so this is how you create the activity book so you just need to create different activities and you continue creating them until you have 90 pages and the like so you can maybe create e, let's say for the you can see this one and this one is the same type of activity so you can also maybe have two puzzles maybe you can have a boy then another puzzle have a similar puzzle you have a girl maybe another one you have a grandma and the likes then just change where they're coming from and the likes so maybe something they have trying to find and the likes and you have it in your kids activity book so if this video is helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up thank you